All right, what up? So I am going to play my little game here. Uh, so first thing I got to do is open up my command prompt. And then we are going to go into Python RTS 5.py. And it's going to launch my little real-time strategy game, which is a top-down video game. So as you can see here, we have obstacles in the middle. We have uh, the ability to drag and click a box. And this is the enemy over here is the red color and the uh, maroon base. Um, and then we have the brown building over here and the blue squares, which is represents my team. Um, the yellow square on top represents the health bar. Then we got a uh, simple AI. So what's happening here is, oh, sorry. So we can we can select one troop by dragging over it. We could select multiples. Then we could drag and grab a different set of multiple or a different group to grab and then drag that across. Then also we have a function where we can hold the shift button down and then select all five. We don't have any AI yet for uh, path finding. So what that means is that if I click through this box here, it'll try to move through in a straight line. And because there's also a different functionality for collision, which just means that they can't go through each other, as you can see here. They cannot go through each other. As you can see from the red here, they have a very simple AI where it's just, um, it's uh, each each block is targeting one of my blue blocks here and it is just trying to go in a straight line to kill that block. Um, so then another functionality we have is that we have each of the bases on a timer just spawning troops. And uh, if it will check to see if there is a troop in a position here. And if there is, it'll try to spawn in another position. It'll check another position until there's no object there. And then try to spawn it in. Um, then what else we got going on? Uh, right. So, yeah, the objective. We have an objective in the game as well, which is to destroy the enemy base. And their objective is to destroy our base. But the AI on the enemy AI uh, is set to attack all blocks first and then to attack the building so it tries to just eliminate your army first before it tries to um attack your building so how combat works is essentially i'll try to move up one block here so you can kind of see it they just move into uh a range and then they start dealing damage to each other so i killed that guy and he is killing me it looks like that my blocks may have bias to i didn't really check the code to see like how combat is uh, rolled maybe the enemy troops just do less damage to your troops but still so that's how that works and then the other mechanic for combat since it's just randomly attacking each other uh the other mechanic for combat is to um let's say for instance i'm gonna sneak this guy around this may take a little bit but if i get into the building range here um the code is designed to not deal any damage to the building until there is no blocks around the building so attacks prioritize uh, blocks and then and then check for a building so essentially you know we can grab big groups and i can get them stuck but we can just you know try to squad move them out and just push up the center here and since there's no pathfinding it makes it kind of like it's kind of like a um adds a little skill element to it that you got to like say like if you had like to move through these obstacles here it require a lot of attention but then you're in a fight here so you got to kind of manage that plus then you want to make sure that your troops can spawn in so you got to move them out of the way because then if there is no spot also yes another mechanic is that if there is no spot available because it keeps checking but it will not spawn if there is objects in there so then um for you to continue to produce troops you need to come back here and check periodically and pull these troops off your base so you keep pulling them out so now we're pushing up the front here. So I mean, like, yeah, so there's a, there's a couple basic mechanics, but it, it kind of, it gets complicated kind of quickly. And it's 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 kind of a fun start. Um, the fact that I did this in a few minutes too. Um, I don't know. I feel like this could go and become a lot. I don't know. Who knows what it'll become? Yeah, it's doing this like a uh, speed up thing too. When I kind of command a troop to move, like sometimes when I tell them to move, one just speeds up and it starts to fly across the map. I don't know. I can't. It's, it happens randomly, but you maybe you can see it during the video or something like that. But yeah, so we're we're trying to attack the enemy army here, and then trying to just get it to start rolling for the building. So um, part of the strategy to win is to you know get the enemy to get stuck behind. Depending, each of these um, maps are random too. 
uh, like the objects in the middle of the map. So sometimes they're more sporadic or whatever. But what I kind of did to beat the computer before was to um, get him to send troops out and get stuck in the middle here by leaving troops behind and then sneaking an uh, army behind and then attacking the base here. So after we win, it says, you destroyed all enemy buildings, you win. And that is my video game so far. So yeah, cool. Bye-bye.